background. He went to the University of Ilorin, and Ilorin boys those days were bad, bad boys. Take it to the bank. They can come and carry me if they like, but that's the truth. They were bad boys. So I think that also played out in, in, the, in my marriage. Honestly, everybody has got their own convictions. If you think that place is good for you, stay. Seriously. Everybody has, you know what's good for you now. If you give love, love is rejecting you. There are people are you. The person you're giving love to is rejecting your love. Find who you give your love to. I don't know how to. I can't give anybody that kind of advice. You should. You should have. You see. Yes, I will give advice. Um, just empower yourself. Have somewhere you can fall back on. One of the reasons why women still remain in an abusive marriage. They don't have anything. To, they don't know where to go to. They don't have businesses. They don't have nothing. They don't have money. But if you know you want to save your life, you will find what to do to get out of that situation. But as long as they, they're enjoying it. Oh, I, I'm, I'm a lover of myself and a lover of God. I won't allow... I kind of, I didn't want to allow myself to remain in a, and I had some, a child I was raising. So I didn't want her saying stuff and then imagining growing up that that's how life is. No. So that's it. Uh, she asked at some point, yes, I'm not uh, going to, avoid not answering that. She asked at some point that uh, because she goes to school, she sees other people's dad come in. That was when she was um, six years old. And that disturbed me. So then the dad was always sending me emails. I wanted to speak to the daughter. I had to get a landline and installed it into her in her room so that she'll be able to be talking to him. <clears throat> and um, I was being fair. I mean, I didn't want to be selfish, you know. And because they kept started talking once in a month and like that, but even at that, she still was still grasping who the dad, you know, still trying to wonder who the dad was. So the dad sends me an email and says he wanted to see her. I said, no, you can't see her now. I don't want her to feel, because she's not immature. If it was now, yes, but she was six years old. I didn't want her to have a dysfunctional, I mean, okay, I've seen my father. Why are you not with my, I don't want all those questions I couldn't answer. So I said, no, send her gifts, send her this and that. This is her account number. Do whatever thing you want, but please, you can't see her from now. Wait until she's mature enough. But as God will have it, that didn't happen until God gave me a husband. So no need for the. <laughs> that was once, that was that time, 2014. Till now, no, no relationship. I have no idea where he is. Honestly, I, I think it's just the Holy Spirit because I don't know. I'm still me. I haven't changed. I'm just still the same person. My career is still on. I have not gone back and sit there to the back, back, you know, background cooking food or serving him. Nothing. I'm just still the same person. Nothing has changed. Nothing. It's just about a letter that was written to me some years back, but I didn't see it on time that I'm evading tax, my tax, taxes. And I know that I pay my taxes, I just didn't pay for 2017 and 2019, because then business was really bad. You know, I didn't earn anything. So perhaps the mistake I made was not going to the office and probably just talking to them and all that. But the letters, like I said, came late. And the next time I saw my faces all over, face all over the media, that I'm evading, evasion of tax. Yes, that, uh, that really disturbed me and um, I had to quickly go look for the authorities or the people who have been assigned to collect taxes to sort myself out and all that. And whilst I was in the process of doing that, another one came again. I'm like, ah, who is behind this? And then everybody in Port Harcourt was getting worried. My, all the stakeholders, all the politicians, my people were just calling me. I had over a thousand calls. Lisa, what's going on? Who did you offend? Are you the only one? Blah, blah, blah. 
you know, so well. I said, don't worry, don't also be sorted out. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So that my husband was just having a few day laughing. I said, look, are you a ten dollar? <laughs> are you Dangote? Who are you disturbing? Please, this is just your five face that they want. Please go and show it for today. Anyway, we just made, you know, joke out of it and we took it with a pinch of salt and it's been sorted out. So. <laughs>